My name is William Lesher. Uh, my wife and I, Lolly, are the owners partners in Wayhar Farms LLC and Wayhar Farm Market LLC. Our farm and farm market is located in Burnville, Pennsylvania. It's a rural area. We're located 15 miles north of the city of Reading, which is our county seat. William and I grew up in farming. This is his family farm, and I married into the family business. But it's something that we always had a passion for, and you have to. You have to have a passion for dairy farming because it's 365, 24-7. It doesn't turn off. You don't really get away. Um, but it's something we really enjoy, and we think it's valuable. We think we're providing a wonderful service for the community, and that you know we have a lot to offer, and we have skills that we can offer and provide a wonderful setting for our cows and our children. When we were little, we were always the farm kids in the school and everybody thought it was the coolest thing that we had barns to play in and cows, everybody wanted to come to our house. So it was just kind of like in that community sense, all the kids knew that we lived on a farm and they thought it was the coolest thing. They wished that they had a farm to run and play on just like us. Taking care of the cows is the most important thing that we do and we've trained our employees to do on the farm. If a cow is happy, she's producing a lot of milk, a high quality milk, and also is more profitable to us. We know them all by name. They're all identified. You know, it, it's a very personal relationship between us and our animals. And we, we want it to be that way because we want to take good care of them. We feed the cows twice a day, but we have a robot that pushes feed in every hour on the hour. Another thing we do is we have daylight lighting. So we have light on in the barn for um, 16 hours a day and then total darkness for eight hours which is a rest period for the cows. We use sand bedding because it is the best for the cow and it's the most comfortable for the cow. And the reason it is the best, it's an inorganic material. The bacteria doesn't grow nearly as much as it does like in sawdust or straw bedding. In the summertime, heat is a big problem with cows because they're such a large body. A cow weighs 1,400 pounds and produces a lot of heat. So we have 52 fans in our barn along with a sprinkling system. Somebody asked me one time, why don't our cows go out on pasture? And my reply is, if you were in this barn laying on the beach in sand bedding, you'd never want to go outside in the hot sun and humidity. Another thing that we do for cow comfort, and I don't know that it makes us any more milk production, but it makes our cows comfortable and happy, is we have back scratchers. And at certain times of the day, they're waiting in line, sometimes three, four deep to get their back scratched. They walk underneath it and it spins and it scratches their back. It actually feels really good. <laughs> I've done it a few times. Wayhar was bought by my husband's grandfather, the farm. And in 1970, my father-in-law and his brother decided they needed to do better selling their milk directly to consumers. They were one of about 400 jugging operations that started with a very small operation, but it was out of a, a need to relate more directly to consumers instead of just sending it to the dairy. I think it's been a wonderful avenue. People come here for birthdays, graduations, and celebrations they'll come to get because we're known for our ice cream and our chocolate milk. Those are our, our keystone type products. Uh, but we're part of the community. If they have a question, they can come in and ask about, you know, what's in my milk or what do the cows eat? And we're happy to tell them and have them come and see firsthand how we treat the cows. And I think that's really important. So I think I had a little bit more unique experience growing up because we have a dairy store. Being in and out of the dairy store, I interact with consumers every day. It's not just going to a county fair or going to a function. I see consumers every day. They see me as a farmer. We run our processing plant on two days a week and we'll make whole 2% skim, chocolate milk, eggnog, strawberry milk, heavy cream and light cream. We process ice cream on Fridays and Wednesdays and then in the summertime we, we will make even more like on Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Fridays. My favorite product that's sold at our dairy store is the ice cream. We make it ourselves and I think the best is when it comes out of the machine before it's even frozen. That's always kind of the best perk of making ice cream. My family eats the food first, so I want something that's good, healthy, and nutritious for my children and for my consumers. By feeding the cows everything that we raise and providing lots of fresh, clean water and a happy environment, I know I'm providing a very high quality milk product and I can share that with our community. Not every consumer has a real farm market in their neighborhood, but luckily within a few miles, most people can get to Wayhar and have lunch and they'll have some ice cream and spend time together. 